Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and it's gonna be kind of like a vlog style video. And what's going on is my Fuji X-Pro2 down here needs to go to repair. Uh, for some reason, the sensor has this random spot on it and it kind of looks like it's like a like a burn mark almost. It's not, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was just like dried water or something like that. So I tried cleaning it when I took the lens off and it didn't do anything. So it's obviously in the glass but it's below the sensor where it really matters. So most of the photos, it doesn't really show. So uh, it happened after a shoot I did and I took the lens off and I noticed it and I uh, shot a wedding this past weekend with it and it was fine, but um, obviously that burn mark or whatever it is, isn't supposed to be there. I don't know if it overheated at one point. It's been a really, really hot summer. Like today it's like 33 degrees Celsius and that's not with humidity. That's like, it's probably like 40 degrees Celsius today with humidity. Anyway, um, I'm pretty fortunate. I live like 30 minutes within the Fuji uh, Repair Center. I'm actually really close to all of them. Nikon's Repair Center and Canon's Repair Center for all of Canada. So I don't really have to mail it away. I just have to walk in and drop it off. And uh, I actually just dropped off my Nikon D500, which I'll do a review on later. But um, the diopter's all messed up in it, so I, I got to get that fixed. So if I take this camera in, I basically have no cameras other than the one I'm filming on right now, the A6300. Anyway, I want to bring you guys along and show you what the service is like with Fuji. Uh, it's been awesome with Canon and Nikon so far, so I want to see if Fuji's the same way. And I'm going to take it in and see how long it takes for them to repair it. Uh, I have a feeling I might end up just getting a new camera out of it because the sensor has a problem. And I doubt they're just going to replace the sensor. That seems like a lot of work. So I'm going to take it with me, and I'm going to take you with me. And I'm not sure if I can film in there, but I might take my phone out and just like pan the room or something. Let's go and see what happens. Alright, so my experience was pretty good. I walked in the front main entrance at the Fujifilm head office thing and uh, I saw the receptionist and I could tell that that wasn't where you go to drop off your repaired stuff. So I said, hey, can I drop this off? And she said, no, you need to go around the side of the building. But she was really nice and told me how to get there. So I left, went around the building and, and then I went into the repair area and someone else was in there, dropped off like an XT1 or something like that. And they told her it was gonna be seven business days to get fixed. And then I went in and filled out a little form, just filled out my name and all this stuff. And she wanted to make sure that I had the receipt. So I showed her the receipt and then I showed her the sensor and she just wrote down that the problem was there was a spot on the sensor. And like I said, they're probably just going to try and clean it and that's not going to work. And then maybe they'll have to give me a new camera. I, I don't know. Anyway, she told me it was going to be seven business days and uh, yeah, and then she gave me this card. So yeah, anyway, I'll check back in seven business days, I guess, and uh, we'll see what I get. So let's fast forward through time, and when I come back, it's gonna be seven days from now, next Wednesday. All right, so it's now time to go pick up the camera. It hasn't been seven business days. I am wearing the same shirt, and it's actually only been two days. So Fuji fixed my camera super quick. They sent me an email this morning saying that it's uh, finished and ready to pick up. And they said that they just had to replace some cover. I don't really know what that means. Uh, maybe there's some kind of a cover over the sensor and that's what the spot was, I don't know. But uh, it's another really hot day. It's 35 degrees Celsius outside. So anyone that ever said Canada is full of igloos is wrong because it's way hot. And that's not even with humidity. It's probably like 50 degrees Celsius with humidity. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick it up. I gotta get some coffee first, so let's go. Here's my camera. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just assuming it's fixed. Uh, maybe I should check that out now and see if it's okay. I did put blue tape over this. and the sensor is fixed. OK, 
Okay, so I'm home. I got a battery put in it and a lens put on it and I'll show you that it works. Obviously a bunch of settings were changed. Everything was set to auto. So obviously someone was testing it out and that's good because that means they actually made sure that it worked. Um, I took a picture, it seems fine. Uh, like I said, the sensor looks fixed. Uh, in the invoice here, it says that they replaced const front cap, const top, and then repaired the factory specifications. They took a picture of the sensor when it had the spot on it. It says two year, two year Canadian factory warranty, so that's pretty good. So. Um, not a lot of companies give two years. Most companies only give one year, like Sony only gives one year. And uh, I've heard some horror stories with Sony <laughs> support. Um, anyway, so my experience with Fuji support was awesome. I don't know if it'll be the same for you, but literally in two days they had it fixed and I was able to pick it back up. Obviously not everyone has the same ability to go in and drop the camera off and pick it up, but um, even if it was fixed in a day and then they mailed it back to you in a day or two, you'd still have it in under a week. So that's pretty nice to know. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you dislike this video, thumbs down twice. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more like vlog style stuff. Um, I'm not super comfortable vlogging in public, but you know, I, I don't mind doing this kind of stuff and you know, just showing my experiences with a few things. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.